Today, we are thrilled to introduce our next generation of iPhone. Here it is. Let's go. Don't buy the iPhone 13 without watching this video first. Let's get real. No one, absolutely no one, needs a new iPhone year after year. Let's get that on the table right now. It's completely unnecessary. Does Apple throttle the battery once it gets to a certain age? Yeah, but you can now control that in the settings. Right around mid-September, Apple activates a super secret society of overweight ninjas to sneak into your house during the night and replace your iPhone with an identical iPhone, except this one is just, it's, it's just a little laggy and seems a little wonky. Yeah, they do that for sure. The only difference is this iPhone runs a lot slower, apps are non-responsive, and the screen stops recognizing touch inputs, and the battery charge is crazy slow. Yep, all that happens. That is why every single year when the new iPhone comes out, whether you need it or not, we feel like we need it. We feel like our current iPhone is no longer performing up to par. We feel our current iPhone is in need of an upgrade. And here is Apple with an upgrade. Our attention is drawn to it. Our FOMO kicks in and our bank accounts say, you could possibly afford it. Your cell phone carrier says, device payment plan, baby. Apple says, we will trade in and give you top dollar. If you have an Apple card, Apple card will say, I'll put you on a device payment plan. Interest free. You can't beat that. Everyone is in favor of you switching or trading up to the iPhone 13, the iPhone mini, Pro, the Pro Max. Everyone out there wants you to have a new iPhone, including yourself. Is it a smart decision? Story time. I went on a test drive when I was a kid. I gave my ID to the sales guy, like you're supposed to. I decided to take the car for a joyride, alone without the sales guy. After I pulled off the lot, I knew I wasn't being too smart with my decision, but I felt committed, so I kept going. Grand Theft Auto, party of one, right here. What I want you to know is I did not make a smart decision that day. I want you to make a smart decision. Is buying an iPhone a smart investment for you? The answer is most likely no. The only time an iPhone could possibly be an investment for anyone is if you are using it to create income. The iPhone 13 or any iPhone for that matter will only decrease in value and it usually never goes up in value, which is why it is the opposite of an investment. It always tickles me when I hear people say, I need to make sure I'm making the right investment. A cell phone is not an investment. Apple, the carriers, your friends, maybe even yourself think that you need a new iPhone. Everyone, everyone that is, but me. I want you to know what you are about to get into even before you do it. Depending on when you see this video, I'm either going to help you make a purchase or I'm going to help you feel bad about a purchase you've already made or I'm gonna help you not make a purchase that you think you need. Let's be clear, everyone is going to have a different set of circumstances. Everyone has a different life, lifestyle, and a different budget. There's no answer. There's no blanket answer for everybody. If you ask Apple, if I need a new iPhone, Apple's going to tell you yes. So let's get the easy one out of the way. If you're a tech nerd like me, and you enjoy having the latest and greatest literally at your fingertips, go purchase the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Leave me a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel. There is nothing for us to talk about. You already know what you wanna do, and you're gonna do it. But. If you've been rocking the iPhone, I don't know, 10SX or later, maybe you are due for an upgrade. What do you need an iPhone for? You need it to communicate, post some photos, send some texts. You're not doing anything fancy with your device. Then the iPhone 13 is in your future. If you just want a smaller device and you're not too worried about having the best possible battery experience, then maybe the iPhone 13 mini is for you. The 12 mini was one of my favorite phones ever, but it is a small phone, which means you're going to get a small battery. There's no way around it. That is most likely the case with the iPhone 13 mini as well. But Let's say you are an iPhone 11 or 12 user. Now the discussion gets a little bit more interesting. I have one question that I want you to keep asking yourself. Do I need it? What does that mean? That means, do I need this feature that I'm about to buy a whole new device for? Is it that important to you? Let's test this out and see if I can help save you some money. Do I need a pro 
three camera system. The iPhone 13 is going to take amazing photos. It is jam packed with all sorts of technology and features. If you don't take many photos or more importantly, the ones that you do take are just point shoot post share, then you might not have to spend the money on a pro camera so you can get some pro edits. You don't need a pro camera, but if you want a pro camera, the 12 Pro Max isn't going anywhere and it has some crazy good features. You might want to take a look there. So I just saved you some money, but let's go on to the other extreme. You don't take any photos. You don't create anything on your phone. You don't do anything good, but you do a good amount of mobile gaming, which means the A15 Bionic and the Apple Pro motion display technology really has your attention and it has mine too. I think you're in luck. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is going to have the highest refresh rate, biggest battery, and a giant 6.7 screen. A lot can be done with 6.7 inches. That's what she said. <laughs> If the large screen is not your jam and all that cool camera features are, then the iPhone 13 Pro might be for you. But what if having last year's cool camera features is okay and you want to save some money and get the 12 Pro? I have to say, don't bother. Right now on Verizon, you can get the 12 Pro for $9.99. On Apple's website, you can't even see the 12 Pro price because it's $9.99 and they don't want you to know that. So do yourself a solid and buy the 13 Pro. With all sorts of options, you need to know what is best for you. Leave me a comment about what device you have, what is important to you, and how much you are comfortable spending. Let's see if we can get together and help give you some solid guidance on which iPhone is best suited for you. If you made it this far into the video, thank you. Now get the out of here. Until next time, for the love of tech, namaste.